Hello, welcome to easy to learn. In this video, I will replace crankshaft position sensor and camshaft position sensor for Nissan X Trail. This tutorial will also work on the following Nissan engine models QR20DE and QR25DE and YD22DD Nissan engines. Here are some of the symptoms that will identify faulty crankshaft and cam position sensors. If you are experiencing symptoms like engine cuts out while driving, but the car still starts and stops again while engine is hot, poor idling of the car at 500 to 600 RPMs or a massive drop in the RPMs, a noticeable drop in engine power, an increase in engine vibration, or if you are getting the fault code P0335 or P0340, then you definitely need to replace those two sensors. Let's get started. Be sure to perform this step when the engine is stopped. I will start with the camshaft position sensor. Disconnect harness connector. Loosen and remove the fixing bolt of the sensor. If you liked this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more detailed video tutorials. Now, remove the sensor. This is the old sensor that was causing car to stop while driving. Here is a new genuine Nissan sensor that's supposed to be a better version than the old one. It is a good idea to apply grease to lubricate the gasket and mounting points. Install the new sensor. Install the fixing bolt of the sensor. Then connect harness connector. Clip for securing the connector on the old sensor is at the bottom, whereas on the new sensor, the clip is at the top. Now, I will replace crankshaft position sensor. This sensor is located at the back of the engine load down on the firewall side of the engine block. In order to access that sensor, you will need to remove air duct and air cleaner. Open the clamps of air cleaner case. Mm -hmm. 
disconnect harness connector from mass air flow sensor. With the plier, move the hose clamp. Remove the hose. Loosen air duct clamp. Now, remove the whole air cleaner top part. To gain clear access, I will need to remove this bracket first. If you like this video, and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, for more detailed video tutorials. Here's the sensor. Disconnect harness connector. Loosen and remove the fixing bolt of the sensor. Now, remove the sensor. Install the new sensor and its fixing bolt. Then, connect harness connector. Now, I will install everything back as it was, in reverse order of removal. Here is the final results. If you liked this video, and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, for more detailed video tutorials, by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.